about the tones I was just using on Welcome Home. That was a track from the last Andy Timmons band record called Theme from a Perfect World. And uh, basically, it was mostly just running straight into this uh, new Fillmore, right? So I'll give you a, a basic example of the main tone. And this was all on the on the on channel two, which we have in the whatever the third mode is, the, the highest gain. We've got that thing cranked. And so what, what's, what's amazing to me is that we, we came in today, plugged into the amp for the first time. And I was instantly blown away by how beautiful this clean channel is. So I'm just straight into the amp now with, with my usual uh, complement of uh, delay there. Beautiful glassy top, very, very pleasing. And then you can get off to the other side and have the complete opposite end of the spot. And that's all. That's all amp gain. I, you know, I'm not boosting it with anything. So that's it's got quite a quite a pleasant, nice, but still clear on the top end. coming out of this, you know, narrow cabinet, open back, single 12. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. So the whole tune is basically just straight into the amp with that, that, uh, my delay sound, a little bit of reverb actually also, uh, uh, from the other, the other Strymon. Um, at the very front, I had a, uh, a tremolo engaged. Still on that same lead channel, but I turned the gain way down on the guitar. Where it's... So it's a heavy tone. I do a lot of playing way down in the volume to where it cleans it. gets a bit muddy but this this particular chorus and this particular tone just kind of felt cool and felt very rich and organic so I used it normally I would have uh, you know the distortion either running a pedal into a, into the clean amp and then I put the chorus in between those two or or in the effects loop but it's, it's kind of worked and that's hitting the, fr the front end <laughs> that I could get all the gain out of the amp. You know, I was tempted to boost it with like my BB or, or you know, a Tube Screamer type thing, but it really, it was singing so well on its own that I didn't want to, I didn't want to tempt it, so. And, uh, and I, will, I will also say, we spent some time, again, I'm just getting to know the amp for the first time today. We also spent time where I went to the clean channel and didn't use some of my normal, uh, <laughs> JHSAT pedal in the clean channel, and it sounds freaking great too. <laughs> this 
First mode in one channel, and then the, and the second channel, that third mode with the gain, with the gain, totally, totally cranked. Um, it was a blessing to sit here with Doug, Doug West today to really go through the amp and, and learn about it. It's so brilliant with really knowing how EQ, all the controls are working together, and all very musical. All the all the EQ is just so great. So I'm looking forward to uh, recording with this amp very soon. I've got some new tunes that we'll, the ATB are working on, so this is definitely going to be a part of the. Uh, the studio arsenal and maybe even live. I can see that being part of the live rig too. So anyway, hope you guys get a chance to check it out. Um, the Fillmore. Very, very impressed and very happy. Thank you, Mason Boogie, and thanks for watching the video. We'll see you out there. Thanks. <laughs>